Hey yo, what's up? Marjorie here and welcome to another Thursday night feature and today we are back with Adora and we are going to be checking her out uh, doing an OST track right for the uh, show is this a show called uh, my reason to die so yeah and then I'm not quite sure how to read this angle here but from what I understand the title is supposed to be like Nth universe right so let's just yeah go right ahead and see uh what adora has in store for us in this ost track here we go Ooh. it's here right away You seem like anime OST vibes. Ooh. strong right there. This looks, just really lifts you up. Ooh. I really like the her her delivery here. Especially that breathy high register, uh, the higher register. And it, it just gets filled in in this portion. Hmm. Whoa. I feel like we're just floating in this sea of magic. Mm. I love the switch down over there. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so that was Adora singing Nth Universe. Please correct me if that's not the correct translation. Uh, as part of the OST for My Reason to Die. And that was just magical. Like, whenever I think of Adora's voice, it's just, this magic comes to mind. And basically, also like the way that she switches between her uh, middle register and her higher register, you get this shift in uh tonal quality but the the switch is the the switch seems so effortless it seems so seamless 
and that uh, she goes from this uh, clear, even uh, vocal delivery with her middle register, I, I believe. And then once it goes into the higher register, it's this this light and airy tone. It just sounds like you're floating in the clouds. And yeah, that's part of the magic of Adora's vocals. And I'm sure she has put a lot of effort into this. But the way that it looks so effortless is just like like a testament to her uh like her mastery of her skills as a vocalist. And it's, and it's just like like I love this style of uh of vocal quality and uh they're probably just like a couple of other soloists soloists who have similar similar styles to this although not quite the same but yeah probably the ones who have similar Vocal styles it would be Sejong and Ayu. Although I'm not quite sure about this comparison, Sejong and Ayu, I I I know there's a connection there because Sejong studied Ayu's techniques. Don't know about Adora though, and I don't know if I'm just pulling this out of thin air, but uh, from a layman's point of view, I'm a layman. I'm not an expert. They sound similar to me. Again, similar, not the same. Uh, because they also each have their own distinct uh, kind of qualities to them. So, for with Adora, for me, it's more on the it's more on the softer side, more fluffy side, I guess. And it just sounded really, really good, especially when the instrumentals started going harder in this track. Like, you could still uh, pick out her voice because it the quality of her vocal tone is so different from the instrumentals that you hear in the background. And yeah, this it just sounded like magic to me. And I think this is her first OST track. So really exciting time. Uh, and not quite sure about what my reason to die is all about. Like, is that going to be a K drama or is it just gonna be some sort of anime based on a manhwa. Because I'm looking at some of the other thumbnails here on my screen. Like, this is the ending screen, right? Uh, well, the recommended to me. It's just like, it's just showing shots of these for my reason to die. And. Since I'm not seeing anything live action, I'm guessing it's for the manhwa. Uh, if anyone knows about this, like, please do enlighten me in the comment section down below. But yeah, like, I really like the song, especially uh, when you get past the verse and into the the pre-chorus you suddenly get this burst of instrumentals and uh the music just keeps uh keeps 
not not building. That's not the correct word. Paying off. <laughs> It just keeps giving us the good stuff, right? But when it switches back to the second verse, like it, it pulls back in the second verse, and then we get uh, Adora's vocals with the sparse instrumental. Uh, it, that's also a nice pullback as well. And then when it gets back and back into the second pre-chorus, it's just like a rushing wave of everything. So yeah, this sounded really, really uh, uh, special. We're trying to read the Hangul and and oh, Ponche, would you? Would you? Might mean Nth universe. I don't know. But yeah, uh, this will probably go into my. My chill playlist. I feel like it's a nice. It's not exactly a song to relax to, but it's a nice, warm, uplifting song. Right? So it's something that I could definitely see on my chill playlist. Oh, yeah, I think that's it for my reaction to uh, Adora singing Nth Universe for. The OST of My Reason to Die. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also feel free to check out my Patreon, where I also post reactions to longer form content, or casual content, most of which is available for free. You can probably see the titles pop up here on the side. There's also some uh, perks set aside for those who are kind enough to subscribe. Very optional, by the way. Uh, there's Tier 1 has uh, access to my K-drama and anime reactions, which incidentally you can also access for free because tier 1 of my Patreon has a 7-day free trial, so you might want to try that out. Also, uh, higher tiers of my Patreon involve early access to raw recordings of my reaction videos and priority when it comes to recommendations. But don't get too fussed about all that, like I said, most of the stuff on my Patreon is available for free. So don't be afraid to check it out. The link to my Patreon is in the description down below, as well as a link to a spreadsheet where you can more easily navigate and access the free content on my Patreon. That's also in the description down below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining me on this magical and enchanting journey with Adora. Until next time, have a great day everyone, and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.